welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will see excellent practical. Your question given, write a PHP script to read movie.xml file and print all movie title and actor name of file using DOM document file. Movie.xml file should contain following information with at least five records with values movie info, movie number, movie title, actor name, and release year. So this is the given question. Now see how to write the code for the thing. Here XML version 1.0 encoding UTF-X. Why we are writing this? When you are including this in XML file, it must be a first line XML version and which type of encoding you are going to use, you need to specify here. Here movie, this is parent, okay. Inside this, this is the structure of XML. Here we are writing, this is the parent tag. Here, first element, movie category. Here, you have given, you need to add at least five records. So, first category, Marathi, suppose, movie info, inspirational movie, here end of movie info. See, here you need to close the tag. These are the user defined tags. If you are writing the in a capital here and you need to write the end in caps only here. Because it is a case sensitive. So, when you are writing the movie underscore info, write the same as when you are ending the tag movie underscore info. Then, movie number, then movie title, then actor name. Here is the actor name and end of this. Release year because you have given this information movie info, movie number, movie title, actor name and release year. You need to include all this information. So end of first movie that is Marathi category movie. Now take the second one. Second one movie category equals to Hindi. See? XML coding is very easy here you need to just change this value. Here is inspirational, then movie number is 1, movie title is this, name of author is this, release year is Same you need to just change the value. Okay, you need to write the same structure just to change the value. Here drama, musical, second movie number is 2, then movie title is given, then actor name is given. The release year is given. So, in this way, write it for the at least five records. So, this is English, this is a Kannada movie, and this is the South movie. So, write for the all. And at the end, you need to end the tag movie. This is the parent tag. So, do the end. Okay, save this file. File, save. You need to save this file when you are using an save as this. Where is your folder? This is PHP practical is my folder here. I am saving this file. I already saved this file. But here check the type of the document and check the all file. This movie number one and all file. Okay. Here I already saved this movie. So when you are executing this, see here is my movie 1.xml. So you will get this type of an answer. No need to execute actually this. But you can check here the tree structure. This XML file does not appear to have any style information associated with it. A document tree is shown. So here is a document tree. Here you can uh, expand it or you can archive it. Here is the option. Okay. You can compress and you can expand. Okay. So here is the information of this movie is set. Now, let's see the coding for PHP file. Here in the program you have given that you need to use the DOM document parser. So first create the object of DOM document. So rather doc equals to new DOM document. Then rather doc we are calling the function load and here inside the load we need to write the file name. Okay, this name must be same as your XML file name. And this file, this PHP file and XML file both must be in a same folder. Then only you can write like this only. Otherwise you need to do the full part of that file. Info equals to other doc. 
gate element by tag name. We are using the this function gate element by tag name. Check it carefully. This E is capital, D is capital, C capital, name, and capital. Movie info similarly, and we are storing this movie info inside the info. Then get element by tag name movie number. We are storing the movie number. Get element by tag name movie title. Then uh, actor name and then for the year. Okay, same same statement is going to repeat for the all the information. Now here we are displaying. See here we are displaying just two because we are given in a question print all movie title and actor name of a person. Okay. Just two movie title and actor name. If you want to display the all the information, you can display. You can repeat this code for all, so you will get the all the information of that XML file. But here I just want the movie title. So for each whether title as well as value, here title already we stored this in title whether title. So whether title as well as value. So here you will get the every movie title. Then actor name, actor names of that movie. So for each color name as well as value, and here you will get the uh, answer. Okay, the actor name. So let's execute this code again. Save this file into the same folder and execute this code. So when I'm executing this, see just I will write here movie dot php. See when you are running the code. Here you need to mention the local host slash your folder name slash your C and executing this program on Windows. So for this, first you need to start the jam server. You need to start all these, then only you are able to execute the program on the Windows. So to start this server, then only you will get this local host here, your folder name, your index, all things will be here. here. When I am entering this, see movie one dot php. I have written here, so you will get the answer as movie title, all the movie title and movie name, actor name. If you want the whole information, you can repeat the formula. You will get the whole information on a console, and this is a update. See here, we display the movie title and actor name according to our question. Thank you, thank you very much, and best of luck for your exam.